Hello first grade. Are you guys ready to create some pattern turtles? First thing we're going to do is read a book about a turtle and then we're going to make our own. The Smallest Turtle by Lurley Dodd. Deep in a safe dark hole under the sand lay a nest of turtle eggs. One day they began to hatch. Soon there were dozens of baby turtles all wriggling together up through the sand and away. Except the smallest turtle. He was late. All by himself he scrambled and, scra and scrabbled up, up, up. And out into the shimmery sun. He blinked at the brightness, and inside his head, he heard strange words. To the sea, to the sea. So away he went, skitter-scatter over a shiny gray rock, and, a, and past a big black beetle. Around a tree with the twisty roots. down a gravelly hole and up the other side where a sleepy lizard was dozing in the sun. Through some prickly grass where a spider was weaving a web and all the time his head said, to the sea, to the sea. I don't like spiders. The sun was burning down on the smallest turtle. It made him too hot and it muddled the words in his head. He began to go round and round in circles. He crept into the shade of a big green leaf to cool down and as he cooled the words in his head slowly came back again. To the sea, to the sea. So on and on went the smallest turtle until at last he stopped to rest. He was getting very tider, tired. Suddenly he heard something. It was the sound of the waves crashing and hissing on the sand. The words in his head became stronger than ever. To the sea! To the sea! But there was danger. Gulls were wheeling and whirling up in the sky, looking with beady, greedy eyes for a baby turtle lunch. The smallest turtle didn't wait. Down the scorching sand, he scrabbled and skittered faster and faster. Away from the gulls, past the crabs, over the seaweed, over the shelves, over the stones, and at last he felt cool, cool water on his hot, tired, sandy body. And as he swam down, down, he knew, it's the sea, he sang, it's the sea. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story because I really did. So what you need for today is a piece of paper, a pencil, and something to color with. doesn't matter what it is. As long as you can add some color to this, that would be great. So colored pencils, markers, crayons. I'm going to use markers and crayons just because I have them here. And I like to mix those sometimes um, to make things brighter and less bright for the background and stuff. So you can use whatever you have at home. That's totally fine. Okay, so let's get started. Today we're going to draw a turtle that has a pattern in his shell. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a big arch, kind of like a rainbow. Then underneath that, we're going to put a line that goes straight across. And then we're going to hook it around and go to the other side and hook it around. Kind of looks like a hat right now, doesn't it? Now I'm going to make my turtle head. So I'm going to put a line out and around and then back to the shell. You can make a face, however you'd like. Okay, now I'm going to draw in the tail and some feet. Super easy, like the letter U. And then I'm going to put the little toesies and the other side of the feet that are on the other side. So you're going to make those much smaller than the front feet. Okay, now we're ready to make the shell. So I'm going to start 
by making a nice big um, curved line and then another one right underneath it. Maybe I'll make one on the, another one on the top. Okay, so I'm going to put a line down the middle of the first one. And then I'm going to put another line on either side of this line. So I'm going to put one right here and right here, kind of like bricks. I'm going to do the same thing for this one in the middle. In the space that does not have a line, that's where I'm going to draw these lines. And then I'm going to put the last set of those down on the bottom, right in between each um, line. Okay, so now we have our shell. And now I'm going to kind of just decorate this. I'm going to put that he's on the sand, kind of like in the story. And he's looking for the water. And I'm going to put a nice sun. You guys can do whatever you want to this part. You can decorate it however you'd like. He could be at the park for all I care. You guys can make him this turtle anywhere you'd like. Okay, as always, I'm going to outline with Sharpie. I just really like how um, drawings come out when they're outlined in Sharpie. It makes everything kind of stick out more. So if you have a black marker or black crayon or black Sharpie, I'd like you to outline the whole thing now. Okay, it's time to color, and this is where our knowledge of patterns are going to come in. So we are going to color each part of this shell uh, with a different pattern. Okay, so I'm going to do this blue and red. I'm going to start the shell with blue and red. Now, this obviously wouldn't be a pattern until I added another blue piece, right? But since we don't have enough space, that's okay. I'm just going to leave these with two colors. Now for my next one, I'm going to pick two new colors. I'm going to do green and I'm going to do pink. So my two green ones are not going to be next to each other. They're going to be um, on the opposite sides of the pink. So I'm going to do pink there and then I'm going to put another one, green one here. And then I'm going to put pink right in the middle. Now, you guys can do any of the patterns that we learned last week. You can do ABC, you can do ABA, you could do BBA, or you could do AAB in these patterned colors right here. I'm going to do a different color in each line of the shell, um, and then we will get back to coloring in the background. That is one brightful colored turtle shell. All right, guys, so here's the really fun part. You guys can color in your backgrounds however you'd like. You can color in the head and the feet and the tail and the bottom of the shell, any color you'd like. And then once you are finished, of course, like we've been doing, I'd like you to please take a picture of your finished drawing and upload it to the Google Class so that I can see your beautiful masterpieces of your patterned turtles. I hope you guys have a really great week. See you next time.